we are giving you a kind of behind the scenes look into what it takes to be a Gamecock football player. So we're going to tag along with linebacker TJ Holloman today. He has at 8 a.m. So I'm here to kind of wake him up and get him, get him going to class. Come on, TJ, you have to be awake. <laughs> Good there morning. There he is, awake, dressed, ready for class. All right, so what does today look like for you in the morning? What's uh, I have two classes over in the BA, which is very convenient for me, uh, staying at 650 because I just walk across the street, uh, get an extra 10 minutes of sleep if I want. <laughs> so uh, it's really there you go. convenient. And you can eat downstairs. Right? Yeah, they have a nice cafe downstairs. You just go down there, swipe your Carolina card. Uh, you don't even have to walk to Russell. It's right there, very convenient at 650. So great. All right, well, we got here just in time. <laughs> Sneak in here. Now we're going to class. Yeah, I'm following along. So what are we heading to right now? We're heading to Accounting 502 with Professor Smith this morning. All right, well, I'm going to let you go to class, and we're going to head to the heart of campus. We'll meet back up with you on the horseshoe. Sounds good. Right, See you. Bye, the Horseshoe is the middle of campus. You've got thousands of students walking around, but this is kind of where everyone gets together, enjoys being outside in the beautiful weather of South Carolina. And TJ just so happens to be cutting through the Horseshoe on the way to his next class. So it's a big university, there's a lot of kids, but I mean, how is it? You just, we kind of got that small school feel too to us. Right, uh, when you're on campus, uh, it's a lot of kids. You walk by, everyone notices you, especially if you had a big game or had a, made a big play. Some kids will come up to you and be like, uh, great play, great job this Saturday. Um, it's really encouraging, gives you a, a sense of that you belong here. TJ took me through the Russell House and grabbed lunch before heading to his last class of the day in the journalism building. Okay, so you're finished with class, you're finally here at the stadium to kind of start your day as a football player. So tell me what the next couple hours is going to look like. Uh, you come in, uh, you go to the weight room, get your weights in for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, you meet your position coach uh, to go over film or go over um, the preparation for that week. And if you need treatment, you go get with Clint and his staff. He'll text you a designated time to get ready. But then you just have to overall get your mind ready to attack football for the day. Okay, so it's Saturday, it's the fall, it's game day. What is it like running out of the home tunnel in front of 80,000 fans? Unreal feeling. The fans are just unreal. They, these are the best fans in the world. They're screaming their butts off for you, <laughs> for the team. They just want you to succeed. So it's just, you have to come out here and embrace the feeling. It's, it's unreal. No trip to the stadium would be complete without stopping by head coach Will Muschamp's office. Have you been to class today? Of course. First two classes, you know, got in class front row like you asked. <laughs> no headphones? No headphones. Good. No phone? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, I'm working on it. I'll work on it. All right. Good. Good. You got workouts later today? Workouts later today and then uh, just hit the doty for dinner and uh, study hall. Sounds like a great day. Awesome. We'll get out of your hair, Coach. Let you get back to work. Ready for all the games we're about to win. No doubt. Thank y'all so Thanks, much. Thanks, Coach. See you, Coach. TJ took me into the locker room in the lavish players' lounge that has couches, movie theater-style entertainment centers, and pool tables. Up next was the Charles F. Cruz football building, and the weight room was filled with state-of-the-art equipment and support staff who's always more than ready to keep the Gamecocks in top shape. Oh, Joey, what's going on, baby? What's, up, what's going on, Joey? Joey hooks us up. We got uh, PB&Js, fruit, shakes in the back. Joey makes us shakes after workouts. We got fruit over here, water. He, um, he focused on keeping us very fueled up, very energized for the tough practices, tough workouts we have. Next, TJ took me through the team meeting spaces and kind of told me the ins and outs of what the position meetings look like each week with the coaches. Now, I know it's a lot to do, but you see the NFL logos, you know, it kind of keeps your mind right walking down this hall when you go to meetings. Oh yeah, it's some tough days in camp throughout the season. You know, it's a long season, long camp. But when you go and see these names, see these team logos on the wall, it just gives you an extra motivating factor to just push through. One day you could possibly get there and do what they do on the field. Once workouts are over and TJ leaves the stadium, it's kind of time for his day to start to wind down. So we're heading over to the Doty Academic Enrichment Building for dinner and study hall. All right, so you have so many different options. Right. So what, I think tonight I heard rumors of a uh, macaroni bar. Yeah, so we got a macaroni bar, we have a salad bar, and this is the hot food. And they also have um, desserts on the left, drink machines. You have Gatorade, milk, water, juice, and then all your condiments are right here. Dinner was great. Uh, one more thing left for me tonight is study hall. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on a day in the life. 
Uh, see you guys soon.